The sweltering heat today is enough to force some schools to shut down altogether. Some districts say conditions were simply too dangerous for students and staff in buildings without air conditioning. News 5's Catherine Ross was in Avon Lake earlier today where the district closed five of its seven buildings and explains why some leaders feel the heat is highlighting a need for upgrades. The Thomas family is preparing for back to school. The day before school, so last minute schedule changes, conflicts, ironing all that, all the details. While also preparing to beat the heat. Air conditioned car, <laughs> windows down, breeze. The private school the Thomas children attend does have air conditioning, but that's not the case in some Avon Lake schools down the street. It gets real uncomfortable real quick, so I, I, I can't imagine, uh, you know, trying to corral uh, you know, 23 or 24 kindergartners in a space like this. Director of Operations Ned Lover showed us around one of the district's facilities closed for heat Tuesday. Most rooms are, are pretty stagnant, especially at this time of day. They're really cooking. Five of Avon Lake's seven school buildings don't have air conditioning at all. Some spaces feature ceiling fans, and in special cases, the district will accommodate medical conditions with a portable AC unit. But Lover says it only goes so far. Health and safety comes first. And we don't want to be in a situation where we have to cancel school. It's in the mid 80s in this gym at Eastview Elementary School, and that's with the lights off and no one in the building. District staff here says that it can get dangerously hot on days like this. That call becomes uh, very crucial when you've got building temperatures that don't have air that can reach over 100 degrees in the hallways to think about the health and safety of our kids. Superintendent Joelle Magyar has spoken to us several times about her concerns over the district's aging infrastructure. A bond issue and operating levy will both be on the ballot this November. And if passed, Magyar says the money generated will help fund improvements, along with two new elementary schools and a new middle school. Air conditioning is one part of that, but more importantly, it's to be able to provide the most updated spaces so that we can educate our kids for their future. Shaker Heights passed its own levy last year and will start overhauling its facilities this fall. On Tuesday, without air conditioning, the superintendent there said the district would be adding fans, encouraging hydration, and limiting some activities. Some parents, like Thomas, believe keeping kids in school should be the priority. You've got to have a backup plan. You have to have fans. You have to have other solutions. Why can't you study outside? Districts tell us they'll continue monitoring the weather and keeping health and safety top of mind. In Avon Lake, Catherine Ross, News 5. Okay, but here's the thing. The heat wave is not just sitting over us. Schools from the Midwest to the Northeast canceled activities, sent students home early, or closed altogether because of a lack of air conditioning. And all of that is fueling calls to invest federal funds in outfitting more schools with AC.